Hello everyone, happy Friday. I'm actually starting a vlog on a Friday, which is very off brand for me these days because I am attempting a weekend in my life. If you watched my last vlog, my week in my life, I said that I was gonna try and do a weekend vlog because it is my birthday this weekend and my best friend Sierra is coming into town tomorrow and she's staying with me for a couple days and I love vlogging with her and it's just great to capture memories and we're doing a lot of fun stuff this weekend, so here goes nothing. I am just getting ready because I'm going to brunch with one of my good friends in the city, Elise, and we're going to Bubby's in Tribeca. Never been, but it's been bookmarked for a while, and um, I don't work Fridays, and she has like a company-wide mental health day, which is perfect. So now we have the day free, and we're just commencing a weekend full of fun activities. So we're going to brunch, and then, the plan, this is what's up in the air, is we really wanna go to the TWA airport, uh, JFK, because it's a retro 60s, like it used to be a real terminal, and now it's like a hotel with a bar, and they have roller skating outside, and we've been wanting to go forever. And it didn't work out around her birthday because it was weather related, and now it might thunderstorm today, <laughs> later. But it's so, when it says that in the weather in New York, it's like not always guaranteed. Like last weekend it said it was gonna thunderstorm and it just never came to fruition and it was fine. So our plan is right now brunch and then we're gonna feel out because the thing doesn't open till four anyway. Um, we're gonna see more closer to then how the weather's looking and determine if we're gonna make the trek to JFK and go. Um, <laughs> but if we don't, we'll find something else to do and it's gonna be a fun time. Then tomorrow, I might go and get like a facial or something in the morning. I don't know. Um, it also depends on how much I can prep my apartment in time because Sierra's coming to stay with me. She gets in Saturday afternoon, so I'm gonna go meet her, I think at Penn Station. I need to make sure my apartment is like prepared for her. I need to do some laundry and obviously like wash sheets and stuff tomorrow morning before she comes. And I deep cleaned my bathroom this morning. There's a hair in my eye. Um, so that's a big accomplishment. <laughs> And I definitely, I don't know, I should probably make a list of everything I need to do and we'll see how much I can get done tonight. And tomorrow night, I have my little birthday gathering. I'm not doing like a huge party or anything. I mean, I love attending huge parties, but I really don't like hosting or like putting attention on me for things like this. Um, so it's a birthday weekend vlog for someone who doesn't particularly love their birthday. It's also Memorial Day weekend, so we have Monday off and a lot of people are traveling, so not all of my friends will be at the event, at the bar. We're just going to a bar, a brewery in Williamsburg, Aaron Dumbo. So anyway, I need to get dressed. I don't really know what I'm gonna wear. I think it's warm outside, but if this thunderstorm happens, <laughs> I don't know, I might go for a romper and also I need something that's like good roller skating outfit if we end up doing that. Okay, I put on this little like silky romper. It's from Newly. I don't remember the brand off the top of my head, but I kind of think it looks like pajamas, but it's really comfy, so whatever. And I'm gonna line my lips. Why am I speaking, doing this? Oh shit, that was too much. Yeah, yeah, well, hoping for the best. It'll come off when I'm eating anyway. Princess Polly sunglasses. Do I look ridiculous? Here's the fit. This romper is so comfy. It's got a little tie here and then the zips on the pants separately. It has pockets, it's collared, and I have a little gold necklace with it. And I have these sandals that I got recently. I think Princess Polly. Or no, ASOS. I got these from ASOS. And I'm gonna have to bring some socks in my bag if we end up rollerblading. Okay. Let's go. I feel like I'm on a secret mission <laughs> with this all black. At Bubby's, waiting for food. Look at this beautiful ex-Benedict I've received. Up close and personal. 
We also got chocolate chip pancakes to split because Bubby's is known for their pancakes. And this is a good idea to split one. Thank you very much, ma'am. And you got, oh, did you get an omelet? I did. Oh, I didn't realize. It's a bean stuffed omelet. Yeah. I think it has broccoli, scallions, and other green stuff. Sounds very green. Love that for you. Lovely. <laughs> Cheers to Bubby and his brunch. <laughs> we love to see it. Okay, we just went to, where are we? I think that's Walgreens, right? Not the CVS? And Walgreens. Oh, see, yeah, it's the same thing. Um, we also are in the middle of this bench in Tribeca trying to fix ourselves. Elise is having eye problems. I'm having heel problems because these shoes are giving me blisters. So I bought handy dandy. Oh shit. I <laughs> just put my hand under the camera. I bought handy dandy. Literally. I'm now vegan to as of. Oh my god. <laughs> As of Sunday, I'm gonna be fucking 27 years old, so boomer energy. Um, Walgreens blister cushions. They didn't have my spray band aids that I was seeking, but it's okay. And what did you get? This? Do a whole thing? I us? got multiple eye drops, okay? Yeah, so, ooh, multiple. Did you end up multiple. getting the loofah? I did. Oh, she went all out. She said bougie day. She said at bougie. Walgreens. Yes. I literally, I think I spent $40 on eye drops, but that's okay. <laughs> Um, Sometimes you just routine. gotta do it, yeah. So I have two, uh, two different eye drops here. Okay. Here's clear eyes for my chronic dry eye. And clear eyes, full hearts, can't lose. And here's my little five, which if this gets exposed to the internet, I will cry because it is my favorite. I think it already is. I feel like I've heard people talk about it before. I've just never tried it. I feel like it. I've heard people talk about it, but I think it's, it's still, still underrated. It's still a little under the radar. Because they don't know how life-changing it is. Okay, well, we're about to do a demonstration. So you guys yeah. will see. I also, Elise convinced me to also purchase Lumify eye drops and I never bought them before. That bus is like speeding down the track. Oh, let's go. This man, oh, this person is feeding the birds. Look at the dog. I'm going in. She's going in. First clear eyes. Okay, first I have to fix my, <laughs> first I have to fix my heel. My heel. Where can I put this? You're going here while I fix my heel. Okay, so we have this um, little two-part venture. Wow, this is a thick the blister pad. Oh my god. Oh no. <laughs> oh my god. What the fuck? Okay, here goes the rest of my. Oh, this is like devil's. What's going on here? There's like multiple different strips on this. Oh my god. <laughs> we are really on the struggle bus. Okay, I think there's another side to this. I'm gonna put it on my heel. Yeah, the other side. The other side of blister pads. <laughs> I need to be stopped. Okay, so then I think I'm supposed to peel off this. Actually, it is good coverage though, so I'm proud of them. Because there's like paper on oh, the outside. That feels really cushiony. That feels it does. Good. It does feel like a nice padded blister experience. Is is everyone all good? Everyone's all good. We heard the loudest sneeze of our entire lives at Bubby's. <laughs> um, okay, I don't know if I can actually peel this. Oh, I got it. I got it. There she is. A brand new heel. She's soft, right? right? She's so smooth. Okay, good. So hopefully this protects me and I'm gonna put my shoe back on and then I'm gonna try the Lumify. Sorry. My what? Your license. Yeah, would you like to see my registration? <laughs> Please hold while I fix myself and then get my Lumify drops out. Here's the thing, everyone. I never use eye drops because I don't wear contacts or anything and I'm terrible with them. Like, I don't know how to put eye drops in my eyes without crying everything off of my face for eternity. So, this will be interesting. It's gonna be wonderful. Do I need to look at something? Or, like, just I feel like I should have a mirror or something. Christy, just tip your head back. Okay, but just I don't know how in. to, if I go, let me if I do the work. No, then. Okay. okay, here we go. I'm so scared. You got this, Where do you aim? Like, in the inner corner? You just drop it right on it. Just, just tip your head back. Don't look at yourself. Oh, very good. I thought I had me to look where I'm well, going, though. Well, drop out of your face. <laughs> okay. <laughs> this is why I'm so mad. Like, do you want to do it? I don't know the strategy. Okay. Oh, I think I got it. Okay. Oh, my God. That wasn't bad. multiple in? I, I think it was just one. Okay. Sure okay, should more. I? More. Yeah, put, like, two. This stuff's expensive. <laughs> but you want to see the real difference. Well, what does it say? Does it say use more than one drop? I use, like, two. It doesn't even specify because I threw away the box already. I have the box. Don't okay, worry. please, please advise. Directions. 
It's probably it's just one drop. Yeah. <laughs> You're just excessive and that's why you ran out of it so fast. <laughs> Exposed. Okay, I'm just gonna leave it for a minute. It takes a minute, right? Mm -hmm. So my eye was watering. And then we'll look at we'll the look comparison. At the I feel like I can already start to see it. Mmm. She's loony. <laughs> She's loony? <laughs> I can't tell the difference because also I have to look at the screen and I need to like look in this. Let me just take a picture. Okay. I think I noticed the difference actually. Yeah. I like do. this side of it, you yep. can really see and it. If you like really investigated in a mirror, you wouldn't see like any of the. No veins? Shot. Yeah, veins. Wow. I know. I know it's life changing. Okay, I'm going to put in the other drop. <laughs> Here we go. Okay, update everyone. Here's my eyes now. I put the drops in both eyes. Elise says that they're very white. They actually do look it, I think. It's kind of hard because the lighting is different. Oh, wow. Even in here, I feel like you can tell. Yeah. If you could, wait. The wax in my eyes. Probably not. Well, she didn't put the Lumify in. She just put in her eye drops. Comparison. Eye drops. Someone who needs them versus someone who has them. Wonderful. Thank you, Lumify, for your Thank words. You, <laughs> the morning preparing the apartment I did laundry cleaning getting things ready for my guest the lovely and talented Sierra Green aka my best friend who is on her train to New York right now as we speak I'm so excited to see her truly I haven't seen her since I was in Palm Springs briefly she like came down and met me for lunch after I was there for a friend's birthday um, in December so it's a bad time. And it was kind of thunderstormy earlier and it rained a little bit, but I think it's clearing up now. They said it wasn't gonna clear up till seven, but it's three and it looks good outside. Like the sun's coming out. So it's back to thunderstorms for four and 5 p.m. and it'll clear up at six. Okay, well, <laughs> summer rains. You can never predict them. And on the train from Boston and um, be able to like, you know, help bring her back here and help her with her luggage and stuff because Jason's going to stay with one of his friends in Manhattan. It should be a really fun night. I just, I'm looking forward to seeing everybody. I'm doing my makeup now just because I want to save as much time as I can getting ready after. I don't even know. I already have my outfit picked out. I'm wearing this dress. You can't even see it, but it's hanging up there. I'll show it later probably. Anyway, we ended up getting back pretty late. We stayed at the TWA airport so long yesterday because we both were like, we could live here. Like this place is great. We spent like a few hours at the restaurant, having drinks, looking at the view. The sunset was so stunning. 
and we just didn't want to leave but then i got back home like at 11. <laughs> so hopefully it all goes smoothly and we actually get back sooner than i'm anticipating but i imagine we'll be back here at like six and having to leave at 6 40. so it'll be a quick turnaround and obviously she's been on a train for the last few hours so she'll want to like spruce up and get ready but see so you guys when i'm on the way to penn station my favorite place on earth and if you don't know new york then you might not know that that is extremely sarcastic okay i'm in the corridors of penn station my least favorite place on my way to find sierra the train should be calling me Sierra's over here fixing her bra strap. Hey, everybody! Hey. Welcome to New York! Welcome to New York! I just put on my dress and we're having a boob situation. It's just now they're. You know, that's again. my favorite kind of situation is a boob <laughs> situation. Also, I'm putting in my Lumify eye drops. Have you heard of these? Oh my god, is this sponsored? No. <laughs> Okay, no, they're whitening for your eyeballs. Oh. Like they're brightening eye drops. I just got them yesterday. And Are those good for it. you? I don't know, but I'm, it's a very small bottle, so I'm gonna go for it. You can use them if you want. Um, How do I? They already look kind of white. Well, then don't use them. Okay. okay. Um, we're about to go to the brewery where we're drinking. Cause tomorrow's Christie's birthday, so we're celebrating today. <laughs> God, I'm so bad at doing eye drops. I literally have put in eye drops once in my life, and it was yesterday. <laughs> Maybe twice, I don't know. Well, when I do put in eye drops, I don't usually do it on camera. Oh, there was one. Not bad, not bad. All right. And now one other one. Another one. There she goes. There she goes. Whitening her eyes. Are you bringing a jacket? No. Okay. Okay, I'm going to adjust my boobs off camera, but this is the look. Okay, this is the dress. It is... It does look good, though. Thank you. Um, I don't remember the brand, but... It the label. Way. Oh my god, wow, that was impressive. As for the label. I remember what Oh, I do remember there was not um, a review yet. It was brand new on Newly. So oh. here's my review. It's very good. It has like ruching through stomach and ruffles on the skirt. And it's very comfy. And I think it's intended to wear braless, but like I just am not one of those girls who can go braless. So we're trying this. But yeah, that's a look. And I'm wearing my squeaky white shoes. And we're about to hit the... Town. Oh, I, I mean, just found $5. Wow, that's a good omen for the night, oh, Sierra. Oh, I found $35. What? Yay. That's enough for like one drink. We're back together, everyone. I this know. This is making my heart so happy. This is the reunion of best friends. Oh, oh. oh of oh. Strawberry oh. Electric and Raspberry Thunder. Remember that name <laughs> yes. from way back when? Don't How it? could I forget? Um, okay, well, we're going to go have time a great time New York. drinking alcohol and celebrating life and aging. And all the above. So, but you know what? It's good to age because getting older is better than the alternative. And we'll leave you on that note. Bye. <laughs> Why is she helping them? Like she's supposed to be on our side. Can you finish the camera? <laughs> What's the hat? I don't know. I tried to figure out the points and everything just went terrible because I'm not good at math. They don't have math? Woo! That was good! That's what we need! It was two points! Thank you very much. I love you. Happy birthday to me and to you because you gave birth to me. Hello, everyone. It's currently May 29th, Happy 2022. Birthday, it's time for buffalo cauliflower dip. It's actually vegan buffalo dip from Trader Joe's, which here's my review. I think it's good and I think it's got a nice spice to it, but it just tastes like veggie dip and not buffalo dip to me. What do you think? We're eating it with their plain kettle potato chips. I can see it. I, I mean, you get the buffalo from it? I do, just because it's orange and spicy. So to me, in my mind, I think, I, buffalo. I think buffalo. Mm. But we went out and had a good time, and it's birthday for Christy. 
It is my birthday. I officially turned 27 at 1.04 a.m. and it's 1.30, so we're past my date of birth. We opened her mom's card, and, or her whole family's card, and a bunch of butterflies flew out. It was beautiful and kind and nice. Not real ones, but like... Rubber band ones. butterflies. Cheers. Bonk. Day two of hey. Sierra in New York. I was going to talk about having kids again, but I'll, I'll hold off. <laughs> She's not having kids right now, don't worry. No, no um, like, yeah, just, yeah. We are spending our Sunday morning strolling through the neighborhood. It's nice, it's sunny strolling. morning. Getting, I'm showing Sierra around. Christy's going to get her famous iced coffee. Famous, <laughs> yes. Um, yeah, we're going to get some coffee. We're going to walk to the park and just kind of get a nice morning stroll. Good morning, everyone. Actually, I already filmed a clip of us walking outside. It was a delightful walk through the neighborhood. I got coffee and Sierra got this lovely like hibiscus, hibiscus tea. Hi, the background. Hello. Hello, it's a very wide angle. You get lots of stuff, you yeah. know? And we brought it back and added lemonade and it's really good. Last night was very fun. And one of the gifts that my friend Elise brought, well, she brought one gift and it was this and it was the most amazing surprise because I've been looking for this and we were talking about it a couple days ago and it's been sold out everywhere and she found it and she bought me one, the NYX brow glue and it's supposed to be like the best thing for keeping your brows in place and my brows never want to stay in place because there's not much of them to speak of. So we're gonna try it and see how we feel. She's cute. Oh my gosh, I love it. Thank you, peanut gallery. I'm gonna try and do this before I make up and then fill them in once it's dry. That's my Is that how you always do that? Because I always do it after. Is it better to do it before? I like to do it before because then it shows like the shape that you actually want to fill it in. Hmm. And then I feel like sometimes if I put gel on after I put powder on or color, it just like smears it a little bit or takes off. Wow, this is, look at that. This is the glue I wanted. Oh my God, this is actually so good. Holy shit. I'm so glad she found it. Oh, I got a hair in it. Oh no. Not the hair glue. Hair glue. Because my brows never stay up. Like they just fall. Oh yes. This is the stuff. Okay. God bless Elise and God bless Nyx. Look at the difference in my eyebrows. For my birthday today, we're going to brunch in an hour and a half. Woo! And then we're going to meet up with Jason, Sierra's fiance and do something in the city to fill the time before our boat ride at 5 p.m. And it will be lovely. Maybe we can go sit in a park or something. It is so nice out. It was lovely. Beautiful weather. I really like the neighborhood. And we went to the park, the Fort, was it Fort Green Park? Mm -hmm. Walked around there and there were so many little families with their dogs and their kids just playing. And just playing and having a good old time. Walked past some brownstones and good stuff, yeah was delightful so now we get ready we brunch we live our lives in peace and harmony hopefully we do <laughs> okay yay nick's brow glue i'm very impressed and that's the update for now i will show you guys our outfits before we leave i'm wearing this dress it's smocked on the top nice off the shoulder moment with some cool jewelry are you waiting your turn <laughs> this is on my amazon shop Link below. It's a That's nice slit. Link. Oh, oh, a leg. Oh, oh a leg. Oh, oh, a leg. Wearing tennis shoes because we may be walking a lot. Hello. Hello. You can't hear. But I look. <laughs> when you don't see that my upper half, I look like a prairie woman. This is my dress. It's cute. Uh, like a linen summery from Argentina. Yeah, uh, it's like a linen handmade dress from Argentina that I got Ooh. in a boutique. At least that's what they said on the label. <laughs> got it for seventy percent off on a last minute clearance. Love so that. got big old pockies. Yay. Yay. Oh, and it's Chrissy's Be birthday today. United. Today is the day. So Please. let's all together sing happy birthday, Chrissy. Okay, we're happy happy birthday to you. Bye. Okay, vlog my... clip. We are at Vinegar Hill House for brunch. Look at this bounty. And it looks so good. Um, we're sharing strawberry with our pancake. Looks delicious. Look at that sun shine. I got a little egg sandwich. Got a little coffee. I got, so got a, um, a trout and egg. Plate. Trout. It reminds me of the parent trap when they're hiking and they're like, what's for dinner? And they're like, trout. trout. She's and like, I'll eat tomorrow. What's for breakfast? Trout. trout. <laughs> what's for breakfast? Trout. And green tea. tea.
beautiful. This is the little backyard of the restaurant. It's so cute. It's so cute. And we're big fans. Cheers. Our seat is downstairs, but we came up to see the great outdoors. Back on semester at sea, everyone. Hi, everybody. <laughs> Um, we got this. I'm, I'm making Christy a inscribed uh, Fat Tuesday, whatever you call it's it. It's a lighthouse. A lighthouse. Like, it's like a Fat Tuesday of, uh, of, of, of what is this town? Brooklyn? Manhattan? What is this town? This is the Fat Tuesday of New York City. New York. I, love it. I believe it's called Minneapolis. I drew a lobster. Do you see it? Freehand. You can tell that's a lobster. Beautiful. We're just pulling into the dock. It's done. Dang, Look at my free head lobster. She's very proud of her own lobster. It is Monday, Memorial Day morning. Hello, Monday. We recorded our final Fingers Crossed podcast episode. It was very sad. We, we cried, it. we laughed. Did we laugh? Kind of laughed. A little bit, I laughed at you. <laughs> and now oh, she's leaving me. And now I have to head back to LA. It's oh, been a great so weekend. Nice. Yeah, it's good. It's been a great weekend though. And uh, I'm so glad I came out. And it, this is year seven of us celebrating our birthdays together. Okay, what do we do for year eight? I know. Uh, <laughs> I would say come to my wedding. That's probably going to be it. Probably a few weeks late for the birthday. Yeah, a few weeks late. But I had to get a goodbye clip. Mm, love you so much. Love you so much. Coming. Sorry, my hands are cold. That's <laughs> oh, they are. You're really warm. Yeah. <laughs> um, good luck at the airport. I love you. Thank Bye. You. Bye, guys. Bye, vlog. <laughs> okay, I'm back now. <laughs> Dramatic zoom out. Whew. What a weekend. I just feel like so much gratitude, so much love for the people that support me and care for me and, you know, show up for me in my life. And it's just, oh, I'm getting emotional. I also didn't really get much sleep last night. So I feel like I'm getting even more emotional because I'm kind of tired. I kind of feel like birthdays are just always kind of like a taking stock moment of what's happened in the last year, what you've accomplished, where you're going, like who's in your life. And I don't know, maybe not everyone feels that way, but I just feel like it's such a milestone of like another year, like I'm older now, like what's different? Where, where am I in relation to like where I want to be and who's around me and all that stuff. And it's just like such a clarifying moment and I just feel, really grateful about it. I'm taking off my makeup now because I'm getting dressed to head to the gym. I really just want to get a workout in. I just feel like I have so much like pent up. I don't know. I just want to like listen to music and get a sweat in and round up the Memorial Day long weekend um, that way before I shower and get ready for the work week tomorrow starting short week. I went to McCarran Park in Williamsburg to meet up with some friends and we did a little Memorial Day picnic after Sierra and Jason left and it was so nice out, it was beautiful. My friend Danny brought his dog, it was just like full of people, so sunny, people playing games, people grilling out, people just like enjoying the Memorial Day all in one place and I love that, like I love parks in New York in the summer and I'm just so excited for that. It's just great to spend the day with friends like relaxing especially after such a like, crazy weekend. Um, and I don't know, I'm ending this vlog here just because I feel like I really do have a lot of footage and I am really just glad that I have the memories of this. Like we had such a fun time every single day this weekend from like spending the day with my friend Elise at the hotel, the TWA hotel. And that was already a Friday. That feels so long ago, like so much has happened. And Saturday, getting to see Sierra again 
and getting all my friends together in one place and having her meet so many amazing people here. I'm just like in a very reflective emotional space so I'm gonna go work out. 27, here's to another year. Thanks for watching this vlog. Um, I love you guys so much. I hope you enjoyed it. We actually recorded our last podcast episode this morning together here at the apartment. I didn't really film anything of it. Um, but it was so sad. We were both like tearing up and crying and trying not to like ramble too much about, you know, we could talk forever about how much the podcast has meant to us and we did in the episode. Um, but you have to go listen. It'll be up on June 7th. And it's the last fingers crossed episode for now at least because we'll You'll have to listen to the episode and find out. But I'm gonna go work out now. Um, I just need to get a lot of energy out and get ready for the week starting up. So I will see you guys in my next vlog, which will be a work week in my life, probably starting tomorrow. And I love you. Bye.